In today's structural fires, smoke inhalation causes eight times as many deaths as burns. That's because where there is smoke, there are toxic gases. Two of the most deadly gases are carbon monoxide, or CO, and hydrogen cyanide, or HCN, known as the toxic twins. Together, they combine to create a toxin that can cause cardiac arrest at the event and sudden death. The composition of smoke has changed drastically over the years. In 1950, home furnishings were natural products such as cotton, wool, or wood, and they burned at 8,000 BTUs per pound. Today, typical home furnishings are made of synthetic materials that burn at 12,000 to 18,000 BTU per pound. Today's fires also burn two to three times faster, which speeds the release of toxic gases. In the 1970s, the fire service began to recognize the danger of inhaling toxic gases from smoke. Soon after, investigators became aware of the danger of toxic gases found during overhaul. And now, the industry is learning about the long-term health dangers. While the threat of carbon monoxide has been known for years, the dangers of HCN have only come to light within the last 10 years. Here are some facts about HCN. Hydrogen cyanide can be up to 33 to 35 times deadlier than CO2. The concentration of HCN in normal structural fires is 200 parts per million, which is lethal in 10 minutes. HCN can enter the body by absorption, inhalation, or ingestion, and targets the heart and brain. It can cause heart attacks and cardiac arrest, and can hamper resuscitation. HCN can also cause bizarre and irrational behavior and hamper rescue and self-rescue. To recognize potential HCN poisoning, watch for these symptoms. Lethargy, weakness, shortness of breath, chest tightening, headache, drowsiness, disorientation, and possibly bizarre behavior. Cardiac issues, possibly bright red skin, soot or burns around the mouth and nose, coughing up carbonaceous mucus, and some people have reported that the victim's breath smells like almond extract. If cyanide poisoning is known or suspected, some practitioners recommend that a cyano kit be administered immediately. The good news is that there are things you can do to protect yourself. First, wear your PPE. Second, always monitor toxic gases. We'll talk more about this in a minute. Third, Keep your SCBA on until air is safe to breathe and make SCBA available to drivers and operators. Fourth, shower within an hour to reduce exposure to toxicants and avoid the spread of toxicants from the skin and hair. Fifth, decontaminate PPE according to Fire and Emergency Training Institute guidelines. Sixth, watch out for symptoms in fellow firefighters, both at the fire scene and back at the station. Finally, Start a training program at your station focusing on the hazards of hydrogen cyanide. It is now possible to measure the environment for the toxic twins. Because the combination of CO and HCN is exponentially more harmful than exposure to these agents individually, measuring each gas against its single alarm threshold is not ideal for overhaul operations. As a result, Draeger has developed a new Toxic Twins alarm function on the Draeger XM 5000 multi-gas detector, which measures CO and HCN against a combined threshold. So take care of yourself and beware the Toxic Twins.